yeah good day guys today we are treating measure of central tendencies and um, yeah this topic is under the summarization of data and sampling distribution we've been able to explain um we've been able to explain on uh, what statistic is population samples and everything so now we are going into the calculation okay now we're starting off with measures of central tendencies now in a distribution you tend to have values that lie at the center this is a normal distribution you tend to have values that fall at the center this center of the distribution and most of them most in a normal distribution if you take samples you you, you, you get samples from a particular population or even if it is the whole population you tend to have values that lie at the center and majority of them fall at the center of the distribution okay and um, these operations you use mean median mode to get them so if you have a distribution and you're trying to get the value that are for the value that falls at the center of the distribution then you're using the measure of central tendency that is the operations the measures that get the value that falls at the center of the distribution that tends towards the center of the distribution so that is what it simply means well, we are not really going into what it means this time around we want to go into the calculation so straight into the calculation okay now the first one here is the mean yes and it is very important to note that they are grouped into two we have the ungrouped data we have the grouped data now groups the ungrouped data we are starting off with ungrouped data we are starting off with the ungrouped data okay now for the ungrouped data mean ungrouped data is simply um, data that are not grouped so for example you have a distribution of um, for example you have a distribution of two three four five six they're not grouped it's a thing you can they are very it's very easy to point all of them out this is a distribution so they are not grouped now in order to calculate the mean it's just straightforward all you have to do is find the average so for ungrouped data mean equals summation of each of the variables divided by the number so all you need to do is 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus, plus 6 all divided by n um, n sorry <laughs> n in this case is uh, n in this case is 5 divided by 5 so that's 5 everything all together should be 20 if I'm correct divided by 5 so 20 divided by 5 is what 4 so you've gotten the mean for ungrouped data it's as simple as that very straightforward okay now let's go to median median now median just as it implies we find the middle number median the middle number so calculating the median from this set of data all you need to locate is the middle number and this is it for ungrouped data it's as simple as that so the median here is what four and um uh, and there are cases where you have two numbers lying at the center of the distribution now another example for example let's take this distribution two three four five six seven now you'd realize that four is at the center five is also these two are at the center of the distribution then how do you do that all you just need to do is simply add them together divided by two so that's nine 
divided by 2 and that is 4.5 it's as simple as that okay now the last for ungrouped data is the mode the mode is simply the most occurring number or the number with the highest frequency or the number with the highest frequency so so let's take for example you have um, you have this distribution two three four four five and you're picking the number with the highest frequency it's just four since four occurs more more than the rest of them so the answer here is four it's as simple as that now it is very important to note that rounding up this session it is very important to note that when you are calculating for median in ungrouped data the numbers must be arranged is very important so let's take for example you have um, sorry for that example you have two five for example you have this and you are told to find the median you must firstly arrange now after you've arranged then you pick the middle number now that finish off on grouped data so just to go over again on measure of central tendencies on grouped data you have the mean the mean is simply the average had everything up divided by the number the median just pick the middle number the mode the most occurring number you pick it and uh, it is important to note that when you're solving for median on group data your data must be arranged before picking the middle number uh, we continue this session i'm breaking it off here we continue with Grouped data in the next video. Thanks for staying with us. Bye.